Alrighty, friendos, welcome in. It is time! The finale of our Starting Over series. So if you're just watching this for the first time, we're on a brand new account, uh, uh, quotations, where I started from level 1, and I'm on my way up to level 90, using mostly default difficulties, a couple customs, and now we're going for the gold trophy. I accidentally was tabbed out of my game and was on my recording, I accidentally stopped recording. We have the bronze and the silver. <laughs> Let's go for gold. Okay. Um, let me show you loadout, what I'm taking, and the customs, basically the preset. So this is loadout. Feel free to glance. This may change at some point. Um, and you basically, for this difficulty, you have to go here and hit hit a block three. You can't really change much. Oh, help. Help. Okay, there we go. Um, <laughs> the only thing I did change is you can change the weather. I like windy best. Some people like foggy. Uh, as long as it stays at 15 times. Uh, you might be able to also add activity board or like add activity board instead of changing the weather, but it, activity board doesn't help me at all. Maybe for testing for twins, but the twin curve has been so inconsistent on the board that, anyways, so we're doing okay. Um, I'm gonna probably be doing a bunch of restarts. I'm gonna be very, very picky. Let's also get my timer up on screen. Oh, I need to get my filter set up too. I'm gonna be very, very picky with ghost location and objectives that I get because they have nerfed and or removed the um, gurney looping spots on the right side. My, my most of my um, apocalypse three tutorial was done. So, um, consider this yeah. as your tutorial. <laughs> I guess, the new tutorial. Okay, I'm immediately gonna restart, uh, cause there's a ghost event objective. Ghost event objective is completely RNG on whether or not the ghost wants to ghost event near you. Like, obviously you have to go to the ghost room. I'm not gonna, know. The ones I mainly avoid are crucifix, EMF, and, uh, crucifix. They're definitely doable, but, um, I don't know. I just, I want my life to be slightly easier. Oh, you could also just hit J and open future and look at him. Repel. <sighs> okay. It's gonna be one of those days, huh? <laughs> and once I get the objectives that I want, I, I need to mess around with the filter. Because we are gonna be using a filter today so that y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm not gonna have you in the dark. Alright, I'll see you when I get objectives. We have a game! Okay. <laughs> we just need a cooperative ghost that's gonna be near the chapel. Okay. We have done it! <laughs> okay. Um, I probably put this, I edited this in there, but make sure you brought a motion sensor. I realized that after a couple load-ins and I got motion sensors objective, but then when I went to grab the motion sensor, there wasn't one. So yeah, make sure you had that for the, it's easy objective and a good way to test for like Wraith, Phantom, Banshee. So, okay. Um, I'm going to take this, 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 and this, and we are just going to go inside instead of the front door and see if we hear, smell, see. Observe the ghost. And I always have a crucifix on me until I know. Oh, okay. I know where the ghost is. Because if one, we could be in the ghost room. And then, you know, the ghost would instantly hunt on top of us and kill us. Or two, it could be a Wraith Phantom and Banshee. And I, again, they would hunt on top of you and murk you. So I always try to have a crucifix on me at the beginning, you know, to prevent those. Instant hugs. <laughs> and it may take a couple hunts for me to be like, okay, it's probably not a Wraith Phantom Banshee. I'm safe to move away from the crucifix. Um, but yeah, okay, so on this difficulty, when the door slams, when the ghost starts hunting, it's gonna last 60 seconds. That's why I started a timer. Wait, are you below me? Is that why I gotta Huh? Okay. I don't I don't hear the ghost though. Hmm. I'm not convinced. That could have just been like an ambient noise. Okay, hunt's almost over. We're gonna head to the chapel, go to the piano, and see if we can go near the chapel at all. Okay, we're in the chapel. Let's go wait for it to start. Actually, I don't really know if it's hunting. We need to add a light switch right here by the piano so we can check it. Yeah, it's just ambient noise. Now I'm gonna sit here for like a minute or two. And if I don't hear the ghost anywhere near me, I'm probably just gonna like leave game. Sorry about the flash warning. I hear the ghost. Okay, oh, that's actually so good. They're over there. Okay, that sounds normal speed. Okay, there's actually a spot over there. I think we can use, I, they, ever since the Halloween update, they've changed a lot of stuff about Sunny Meadow, so I don't know if the spot 
over on the we may just stay in the chapel i was gonna say the spot um that i was gonna use the one i used in a silver trophy if it's you can still hide there they might have patched that okay well we need to go out and get um a camera i think that's it right just a camera are you done hunting <laughs> might get it might risk here i'm gonna go to the slide switch really quick and check Yes, okay. I mean, it could hunt on the way to the front door, but I think we should be okay. Okay, and the ghost is hunting again. They did not let us leave. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm going to turn off my filter so we can, like, briefly talk about what I can already cross off just based off of listening to it. So, normal speed. Oh, my mouse has been acting weird. It's, like, kind of not doing what, it, what I wanted to. Um, okay, so no Maroi, no Dio, no Thay, no Twins, no Haunty, no Rat. Uh, could potentially be a ride. You would have to get some electronics around and see. Um, yep. I mean, maybe no Wraith and Banshee because it hasn't, like, tried to hunt on us, but it might take a few hunts for that, so. I leave. Soon. Okay, I'm out. Alright, I'm gonna grab... Did we need? Just a camera. Um, anything else? We I mean, we could try to use some salt. Make things a little bit easier for going for the ghost photos since we have an extra hand. I've had problems in the past with the, the camera prioritizing the salt photos over the ghost. But we'll try it. You know, we'll see if maybe they've fixed it a little bit. <laughs> okay. And we'll probably wait for a hunt at the front door. And then head back towards the chapel when the, when the hunt's been like, at, like, at like 50 seconds. So there's 10, sec 10 seconds left in the hunt, I should say. Okay. Um, now that we're back inside, I'll go and get the filter back on. Okay. Oh, perfect. All right. I actually do want to fix the order that my items are in my inventory. That way, when I swap after I smudge, I'm I immediately at my camera. But we'll do that. Maybe. Uh, I don't hear the ghost, so we might be safe to do it now. Don't make me regret this ghost. Okay, so I want smudge camera. I mean, lighter, the best doesn't really matter. So, let me just check. Oh, that, that didn't work how I wanted it to. Why didn't that work the way I wanted it to? This, this. Okay. This, and then this. It just automatically puts the lighter after the smudge. Okay, then I guess it just means I need to remember to hit Q twice after I smudge. Oh, shoot. I just realized. Okay, we're going to try to go anyways. <laughs> Rest in peace to me. I think we might be okay because even when I hunted last time, it took a, a few seconds for it to come over here. Or maybe not. Maybe it didn't. Okay, put the salt right here. Okay, and I... Okay, so yeah, we want to hit Q, Q. Alright. So we're going to right-click G to drop this. QQ, and then maybe go for two photos? We might have enough time for two photos. Maybe just one. Actually, I don't know if I've gone for the, the, the photo on Gold Trophy like this since they like made the changes to the house so the, the photo the camera is. Let's make sure to drop my camera whenever I'm going to go hide. Now, it could be a, you know, a situation where the ghost like never comes back this way. I may be sitting here for like 10 minutes. So I'll just bring you all back whenever the ghost is actually pathing this way. They're pathing this way. Well, maybe. I heard tip, tip, tip toesies. To tip toes? Tip toe. Okay, maybe I was I shot the gun there. Yeah, I'll go and start a timer for how long I've just been sitting here waiting for the ghost to come over here. So in case you all know, because I do a cut right here, you know how long it's been. Okay, ghost still hasn't come back here. What I did instead, instead of like using Q, is I can go down on my mouse wheel when I go to my camera. So I like Q a little bit better because it's a little bit more reliable, I feel like. I feel like normally it, it'll swap. <laughs> Um, but if I scroll down on my mouse, we'll have my camera. So we'll try that. Um, I'm maybe willing to stay here for 10 minutes. So that goes my path this way. Otherwise, we might just leave. And we'll... But, like, this is basically what I'm going to be doing the entire time. So I'm going to load in, see if I hear the ghost near here. Um, make sure I have the good objectives, of course. Uh, try to them in here, figure them out. If I can't, then I leave. So, um, Yeah. Welcome to the gold trophy. 
And sometimes the ghosts are like that too. They'll like path a certain way. So you're like, oh, I can go for the ghost photo. And then for the rest of the game, they'll never go that way. I don't know what determines which way a ghost is going to go and why they, de they decide to just be really rude and not go the way you need them to ever again. But I mean, maybe change rooms. That could be why. 525,600 minutes. 525,600 minutes since I last seen this ghost. 520. I'm done. Sorry. I'm <laughs> done. I'm just like sitting here staring at my screen, zoning out. I'll give it 10 minutes. If I don't hear it in 10 minutes, we're leaving. Okay, that game was a bust. Um, I'm probably just going to cut to whenever I actually like in the same situation. But if a ghost is actually willing to path over that way. So I will see you all then. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so we have another game. The ghost is back. Oh, the ghost is back by the kitchen. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them over here. But in a perfect world... That would happen. <laughs> we'll try. Um, they sound normal speed to me. I'll go ahead and turn off this filter and show you what objectives I have right now. We have firelight photo cleanse, which the firelight should hopefully get done if the ghost comes in here. So I'm going to go out and get salt camera again, kind of like I did in the last game. Oh yeah, I came all the way out to the, the courtyard. Um, and I did decide to swap to tier 3 incense. I think maybe the fact that it burns a little bit longer might guarantee that we actually hit the ghost and get the blind? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like very indecisive about the smudge. Okay, that hunt's over. Alright, I'm gonna go grab um, camera and salt. Okay, I'm back inside and the ghost just started hunting. I'm gonna do a silly thing where I keep going back to the chapel anyways. Theoretically! I should be okay. Theoretically, of course. <laughs> Let's see, where does my- Okay, my camera's- If I swap- Actually, oh, it's actually perfect. How did I get that to happen? If I hit Q? What? How did I do that? Maybe if I pick up lighter then camera? Huh. Okay, well, for now, let's put the salt here. Okay. Let's see... Yeah, this might be really difficult to get him over here, but we'll try. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically stand right here with my walkie-talkie on so that if he does happen to hop into aggro range, I can aggro him over here. Um, I'll just try for like maybe five minutes this time to get him over here. And if he doesn't, we'll just we'll leave again. Oh, oh, okay. Hi. Oh, wasn't quite ready. Oh my God, I'm still going to die though. Oh my god, did the hunt just end? Oh my god, that was so lucky. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, I got the photo. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I was not. I was like literally, um, my fiance just brought me a piece of pizza. And I'm like just in here thinking about it, but I haven't had any of it yet. Um, okay. So we got the photo. He was like really visible too, right? I wasn't really looking at the blink. I was like, really flabbergasted. I was not ready for him. I didn't even like really hear him approaching either. Um... Okay, well, let's go up to the front. We have a little bit of delay on that smudge timer. Um, I look he might go back and watch the footage to see if it wasn't Oni. So yeah, a fun thing to, like, a, a, I guess a good tip for you potentially is if you're doing this, maybe record it if you can. That way you can go back and watch the footage. Um, I'll go and wait to see what the smudge timer looks like, though, before I do that. Hopefully don't become, like, a mimic or something and then a DO and then, you know. Please. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Let me turn off this filter so we can go over all that. <laughs> yeah, we got all three of it. I can't believe I got the photo, dude. That was... I think I probably would have died if the hunt hadn't been almost over. I, apparently there's a ghost in this one. All I see is incense. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, let's see what the smudge ever looks like. If it's um 90 seconds in the smudge-ish, um, I'm going to stop this recording and go look at the footage and see if it was an Oni. Okay, that was like a 90 second smudge. All right, um, I'm gonna go and stop this recording. I, hopefully I shouldn't die unless it becomes a mimic. Actually, no, I'll wait till I'm outside before I go and look at the footage. <laughs> we start like a rough time for our final when the hunt's over. You'll probably know, but I was so, oh. Cricket, did you know, do you know if it's an Oni or not? Cricket's in here looking, wanting the piece of pizza that's in front of me. Are you a good boy? Yeah, that could be like another strategy. Sorry, I know I'm in the dark. That could be another strategy is if you know you can aggro the ghost, if you can somehow aggro them near the end of the hunt, 
like say last like 20 seconds of the hunt you can go for the photo and then the hunt might be over well actually yeah the hunt might be over by the time you actually get them in over there okay i'll be right back okay i just went back and watched the footage i'll go and put like a, a clip of it right here of what he looked like but uh yeah definitely an oni oni or mimic here which oni is probably like one of the best ghosts to go for the photo because they don't blink very much so it's very easy surely one of your right clicks or whatever if you're on console you're your, your photos will <laughs> be a ghost photo. So, all right, we got Oni selected. Uh, let's uh, slow down and see here. Okay, I got to see what you mean. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, I'm just like flabbergasted because I was like so mentally AFK when he just like appeared in the chapel and said, hey. Will you take my picture? Oh, well, look at that. So that was two levels for that game. Well, I think we're like a little bit into 90. Um, that was a 12 minute game. One favorite room change, how dare you? <laughs> Maybe that one room change was the reason you actually aggro. I have no idea why I came to the chapel. Like my radio wasn't staticking. I think he was just pathing in there because of, you know, reasons. But yeah, I think what we might do now, because I don't really feel like being slow player speed, what I might do is continue to play like at fast go speed so I can like talk through like how to identify those ghosts. Like I'm going to com come up with a custom that's like basically gold trophy, except I have normal player speed because I technically done the gold trophy. I don't know if you all need to watch me be super slow anymore. <laughs> um, that's basically how I go about doing it. I would do it from the chapel now. Just restart. I can go through really quick and show you like other spots that you could use. Oh, it's going. I'm just like walking past the fact that we have the gold trophy. <laughs> gold trophy, it's so shiny. Oh uh, yeah, we can talk about maybe like other spots that could work if you didn't want to just do it from the chapel. So let me come up with a custom and we can go and just look at those spots and see if they're actually working. Okay, I'm on just like a friendly ghost custom right now with super fast speed. I wanted to show you the how the go the, the the gonies the gurneys don't work anymore. You cannot you can no longer fit right here. So don't use them. I need to put a disclaimer on my gold trophy video not to use that spot anymore. It is nerfed. There's a couple other spots. Like, I'm hesitant to check them because I don't want them to get nerfed, but... Also, I, I mean, I never use, like, a god spot. I, the spots that I use still take skill in maneuvering. So I don't think any of these spots should be patched that I'm showing right now. Okay, yeah, you can still hide here. Um, the spot that I did my silver trophy, you can still hide there. So if the ghost was on this side, you could come over here and then hide here if you really wanted to do that. And then the only other spots I might use is if the ghost was in the basement for some reason, you could potentially hide underneath the stairs. Sorry, I accidentally brought a tier one flashlight, so it's kind of dark. Um, you could potentially use a spot under the stairs. It's not like super safe. Going for the photo here is difficult, but that is an option. And then over here, you have in the first room in the basement on the left side. This is a decent hiding spot, not 100% safe, but you know, if you want to try for the, the gold trophy down here, that is an option. There is also this spot right here. That's a pretty deep, pretty decent hiding spot. I mean, if the ghost sees you hide here, they're gonna come get you, but I've definitely lived there a bunch. Um, yeah, it's probably the spots that I would use down here. That's really the only other places I would go to. I just didn't feel like walking all the way down here. That's why I was really adamant about doing from the chapel. Okay, yeah, I think we'll do a couple like normal speeded gold trophy games just to kind of walk through like, you know, 150 go speed and whatnot so let me load up that custom and let's do it so in case you're wondering the custom i'm going to use right now i just went to preset the gold um we're going to change weather back to windy and we're just going to set the player speed to normal so sprinting on player speed 100 so it comes down to like a 12.07 so not as, actually not as good as camp woodwind ironically like <laughs> like you this sounds way more difficult and yeah camp woodwind or the 12.97 shots way higher okay Back to Sunny Meadows we go. And I don't know if I'll worry about restarting bridge objectives now. Ghost event, photo, repel. Okay, so we can maybe go for photo and repel. But I forgot to bring. Oh, okay, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load out. I want <laughs> I want a different loadout. Or at least want a tier three flashlight, I should say. Welcome back. Actually, no flashlights don't work. What am I? What am I doing? I'm throwing. Okay, take two. All right, we're here. Uh, motion zero, cruise fix. Okay, like two of those objectives we're probably not gonna get done, but maybe. Okay. Same thing though. I'm basically gonna play the same, except I just, I can probably maybe get away now. And I might go into like dan more dangerous areas to actually identify the ghost too. Okay, that hunt has started. 
Let's go walk around. Oh, okay. Well, the ghost is like nearish. I don't know if that was upstairs or downstairs because I saw a bunch of arrows pointing down. I think upstairs. I can like kind of faintly hear them. The hunt's over. Let's go in. Uh, head to the chapel. I think we can probably aggro it in the chapel and see what it is. Okay. Let's go and try to aggro them. I hear them. Ghosty? Um. Could it be a. M I don't know about miling. No miling, okay. Don't really want you over here, but this is fine. Another Oni? Really? Okay. <laughs> it's just Oni o'clock today. I think the hunt might be over. Let's go down and see if actually there's an Oni. Also, the dogs say hello. Surely this one won't be a mimic, right? It, I mean, technically it's not Oni back to back because I left the last game to equip with the flashlight. That wasn't going to work, so. Ta-da. Yes, yeah, so we can like about a level per game. Probably to, Camp Woodland's like more efficient, but I, I, I want to play in these settings so that I can kind of walk through um, identifying the ghosts because we kind of talked about like how to get the ghost photo how to survive um but it might be a matter of just like actually knowing what's normal ghost speed and whatnot so objectives are firelight photo okay i mean we could potentially get those if i want to go for the photo again <laughs> and i might actually since we're normal player speed i might actually like walk around i might just try to go straight to the chapel but make sure I walk around with the crucifix. Okay, they are hunting. I can walk around the smudge now. Oh. Okay, I hear them. Hold on. Make sure normal player speed. Or ghost speed. Ghosty? Ghosty. I think I got the aggro. Ghost, 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 ghost. Ghost, ghost. Ghost, ghost. There we go. Maybe? Ghosty? Ugh. There we go. Ghost, 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 ghost. Okay, the hunt just ended. <laughs> well, maybe hopefully they'll come back here next time because they saw us here. They detected us here last hunt, so. Did we? Oh, fast train warning. Yeah, we did get the firelight objective. They split that fire out. No, the ideal thing in the situation would be the ghost comes through that door. Which we might be able to um rig that if I stand right here. I don't be a wraith fan or banshee. Yeah, I should grab the crucifix. Um yeah, because we want to have the longest line of sight as possible. Definitely don't do this on gold trophy. Okay, let's have this over here so it doesn't hunt right on top of us. Okay. I don't know if this ghost just isn't hunting or if they aren't going this way. Huh. Yeah, I don't think they're hunting right now. I can hear like throws occasionally. Sounds like they're near the back, maybe like one of the storage rooms at the end of this hallway on the left. I'm going to get a whisper. Flashbang warning. Did I? I didn't have that. Okay, it's just repellent photo. Okay, I'm going to be really, definitely don't do this for gold trophy, but I'm just trying to try to get it over here. So I'm going to stand right here. So hopefully if it comes down this hallway, it'll see us again. Oh, that was kind of some spicy throws. Okay. I mean, it could have just like thrown one thing and it bounced, but... Almost, hmm? 
potential Pulte explosion? We can definitely tell if it's Pulte if we can get into the chapel. Okay, so she is hunting. Are you gonna go like the different other way? Please. She might be in the kitchen. Just come this way. I mean, it does sound like a lot of throws in the kitchen. I'd almost be tempted just to go Pulte just based off of listening to her. <laughs> Let's go back. I keep forgetting I can sprint again. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll just send Pulte. I mean, I, I could maybe... Ag oh god, sorry. Flashbang warning. I could maybe aggro her over here, but I don't think we need to. Okay. Let's go and load out with Pulte whenever she's done hunting. This is why tier three paramedic could be so good for this because you can literally get so much intel about the ghost before they even like are near you. So you could like kind of know, okay, it's going to be this ghost and maybe prepare accordingly. Like if it's going to be a they, maybe an extra smudge or something. Let me turn on my filter so we can look at the journal without being blinded. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're trying to pull to here. Maybe not, but just based off of those throws, I sounded like one. <laughs> Indeed, nice. Okay, that was a little bit more that time. Maybe because I got the Farley objective then. I would assume. Okay. Yeah, so it's probably worth doing some objectives to get that extra. Because I think we got what, um, like eight thousand for that gold trophy game. <laughs> okay. Let's go find that ghost. Our objectives are EMF cleanse, grease fix. Okay, we can maybe do those. And so in these settings, I just go straight to the chapel. For gold trophy, I would definitely just stay at the front door until you know where it is. Or know where it's not, you know? I think it's gonna be another kitchen ghosty. We're getting so many kitchen ghosties today. Are you hunting or are you just, you are? Okay, think at normal speed. Why are you just in the back of the kitchen though? Could you maybe venture out? Okay. This is very informative. So in this situation, we could potentially try something that might end at our death. There is a not very safe hiding spot in the laundry room. Um, we could try that. I don't know if I'd recommend it for gold trophy because you're so slow. Um, and smudging too close to the hiding spot will probably end in your death. But just so in this instance we can actually get a visual of the ghost potentially. So this is the laundry room back here. The kitchen where I think the ghostie is, is right there. Um, the hiding spot. Let's see if it actually still works. You never know. Devs are always changing things. Oh. Oh, okay. It does kind of work. Oh, God. Am I stuck? Okay. Huh. It's like they, they tried to... It's not a god spot by any means. You can definitely still die here. Um. Okay. <laughs> we might not be able to get that spot, but I, I'd like to get a visual because I feel bad just like not, you know, being able to get the ghost at all. Okay. Increase fix at our feet for safety. Okay, is hunting. Ghosty. I might venture out a little ways to try to get aggro. Ghosty. Okay, hopefully that'll get us aggro. Oh wait, he just phased through that. Oh, okay. Dude, maybe another ulti? That was like a crazy throw on that one book. Also, my dogs and my dogs are very unhinged today. Hmm. Yeah, the ghost doesn't see you, but if they somehow path over here, they will see you. It sounds like another Pulte. Oh, sorry, flashbang warning. <laughs> A 
Like, I, when we were first listening to it in the kitchen, I thought maybe Pulte, but I was like, there's no shot. We got two Pultes back to back. I think the hunt might be over. It is. Okay, I'm going to try to leave with Pulte. Let's see. Okay. And there is a camera in the kitchen, so we could maybe check for Mimic, although I doubt it's a Mimic. It sounded like a Pulte for that long. Okay, this is our one uh, kitchen camera. 100% accurate Mimic check ensued. Hold you guys check. Let's see. Back. The back to back poltergeist. Okay. Uh, five more levels until we're a hundred. Okay, let's run back. Yeah, I actually really like playing on difficulty. It's fun. I like the challenge of the zero second grace period, the 150 go speed, but at least you're not moving so slow that it's miserable going to and from the front door, you know? Okay, objectives are escape, cleanse. Okay, we actually could do all these. We could, if the ghost will allow. I wanted to see too, I'll have to test it, like how to make sure that your camera is in the slot after your smudge when you hit Q. I personally prefer hitting Q over mouse scroll wheel, but. Oh, let me get my filter on. I'm blind. Okay. And surely we're gonna, like, our luck of, you know, nearby ghosties is gonna run out soon, right? We're gonna have, like, a stinky east or west wing ghosty. I'm gonna put this a little bit closer. Okay. Actually, sitting by the front door might not be a bad place, so I know when it starts haunting. I'm actually gonna go check the light switch. It's not hunting yet, okay. Oh, very fast. Okay. Try to get it in here. So to differentiate, the ghosts I'm thinking right now are... It's a haunt too. See, I can see its breath. See if we survive this. Because <laughs> sometimes the ghosts are so fast they like wander into your hiding spot. We might be okay. Oh! I think we're okay. <laughs> oh, sorry, flashbang warning. Okay, on to our mimic here. Yeah, so um, Hantu, you're gonna see his breath whenever it's hunting because the breaker's broken. Um, well, if, if, in time the breaker's off, if a Hantu haunts, you see its breath everywhere. Uh, Moray would gradually get faster and faster as it's running towards you, and then a Thay would just stay at super fast speed. Also, a Thay's gonna sound like a machine gun. Okay, the hunt might actually be over. Let's get out of here! Okay. Got Hantu locked, let's slow it out. Yeah, sometimes the fast ghosts are really nice because they're easy, easily identifiable, so the whole figuring out the ghost is like... Not a problem. Little, you know, I should, maybe should try to go for the ghost photo so I can show you how to do that with a really fast ghost. But it's like, not like that much different, I guess, from what I did with the Oni. Nice, three more levels. So we get like a level and a half there. Yeah, we should, cause it's like 5,000 XP-ish to level up now. Okay. So our directives for the next game are Parabolic, EMF, and Cleanse, okay. I guess I can go for cleanse and parabolic. Since I'll have that stuff. Okay. I might just stay by the front door so I can see when the hunt starts. Okay. Hunt has started. Let us peruse. Yeah, the parabolic mic is nice because we get a little bit of heads up if the ghost is running towards us. Oh, okay. Another fast one? Let me get somewhere. I feel decently safe. Dude, this is their haunt too. I'm gonna lose my mind. We had a Pulti Pulti. Kind of an Oni Oni. Oh my god. Can I get you in here? I'm ghosty. It sounds faster than the haunt did though. Oh, 
Oh, we got the parabolic. Go see. My god, so fast. Okay, that hunt is over. Let's just chill in the chapel and I'll try to be a little more aggressive with aggroing the ghost. We'll get in here, okay. So we're gonna be looking for breath in case it is somehow hantu. Uh, whether or not it speeds up gradually with line of sight. And then if it doesn't, it, it'll be Thay. Oh, it's like already hunting again, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try to like go over here and see if I can bring it down this hallway. Hope I can get away in time. Okay, I think, oh, sounds like it got faster. Oh God, can I get away? Oh my God, I don't know if I get away from this, guys. I'm gonna try. I didn't even really get to properly test for it. Can't tell, yeah, I can't tell until she got faster. She's so fast. I really underestimate the 150 go speed sometimes. Mores also get uh, blinded for additional two and a half seconds, which is really difficult to notice. Um, I, I couldn't tell if she got bonded for longer there. So I'll probably try to do that again, but actually be in a spot where I can get away. <laughs> See, the hunt might be over. Yeah, okay, hunt is over. All right, I'm gonna grab maybe like two more smudges. Okay, so I'm back with a few more smudges. Hopefully she'll go just come back here on her own since she saw us here last hunt. And... We can test for Thay versus Maroi. Okay. She's going. Are you really not gonna come over here? I'm gonna stand like maybe here and try to aggro her through the wall. With my walkie talkie on. I want to say Maroi. I don't think fast enough for Thay. I feel like Thay might sound a little bit faster. Okay, might have worked. No? Okay, maybe. Oh, maybe. Might have a taker. Ghost, 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 ghost. Oh yeah, she's definitely getting faster. Okay. <laughs> Don't somehow kill me because you're going to be so fast, please. Okay, so yeah, I say Maroi here because it sounded like she got faster. I'm saying I say because like maybe I misheard the speed up. It sounded like she got gradually faster to me. Okay, are you done? I think so. <laughs> okay, let's load out with Maroi. Yeah, you know, Hantus and Thais both won't gradually get faster as they're running towards you. Um, but Hantu will have like the breath on this difficulty, so that's how you can tell. The difference also they should sound faster. Okay. Moray, long, let's see. So we got two objectives done as well. Ta da nice. Two more levels. Okay, so these objectives are ghost event, parabolic, research. Okay, not great objectives, but that's fine. We all know how to do objectives. It's the identifying the ghost that isn't always as easy. Okay, we're in. Let me get my filter on. Okay, now we wait. Okay, hunt started. I don't think I hear the ghosty at all. Okay. We're gonna have our first not kitchen ghosty. Yeah, 
I don't hear the ghost anywhere nearby, so... It's gonna be left or right wing, okay. Okay, that hunt is over. We'll go ahead and sit in this hiding spot, maybe? See if we hear it down here at all. Let's get a crucifix down, just for safety. Oh, it's a rev. Below us, I think, too? Okay, um, flashbang warning. Do we have a... We don't have any escape objectives. We can just try to get the parabolic one done, I guess. I mean, if it comes up here, I'll aggro it so you can see how fast it gets just for the fun. We got the parabolic. Oh, I might actually be going this way. Oh my god, so fast, bro. So fast. Oh, this is actually, I think I've talked about this like a dozen times, but this is actually my gold trophy ghost. <laughs> was it Revenant? Come here, ghosty. I'm right here. Come find me. I'm right here. Come get me. Ah, oh, dude, I- Oh, I got it! Okay. Revenant! Oh my god, we're getting so many, like, spicy ghosts. Well, I shouldn't say so many because we've had a bunch of the same ghosts, but... <laughs> Shabashi. And yes, if you're wondering, I was panicking because I couldn't remember where my smudge was in my... when I was scrolling. <laughs> okay. Revenant locked. Let's see. Ta -da. Ooh, one more level. One more game. This is gonna be the streak where we start getting really difficult to identify ghosts, trust. <laughs> it always happens when I'm close to a big level up. Okay, our objectives are EMF, parabolic, crucifix. Okay. okay, we are inside. I'd really like to get like a Wraith, Phantom, or Banshee right now. I always love testing for those just because you don't have to leave the this room. <laughs> He just come to you. So you can put down cell test for Wraith. Um, usually a motion sensor will tell me if it's more of a phantom or a banshee. Because banshees will typically um, stalk you and be around you more often than a phantom would. And obviously if that happened to an event, you can test for a phantom with a photo. Okay, ghost, I'm ready. Hmm. The fact it's taking a second to hunt. Could it be a banshee or phantom trying to use its ability on me? Eh. Wishful thinking. Okay, here we go. Don't immediately hear them. Like the map just gets so. Oh, here we go. Map gets so loud whenever you turn your parabolic mic. I'm pretty sure normal speed here. Um, how close are you? Not too close, okay. Okay, so another back by the kitchen ghost. Do we dare use the laundry room hiding? I don't know if I can aggro them over here. I think we're gonna have to use the laundry room hiding here. Don't, would not recommend this for gold trophy. I'd probably either restart at this point or just um, you know, wait around and see if you can't aggro them to the chapel. Okay, I think that hunt's over. We're just gonna kind of do what we did with the poltergeist game. Actually, I had a timer going for sure the hunt was over. <laughs> it's been over for like 15 seconds. Okay. Sure, I can get into this spot. Okay. Oh, they're actually... They're hunting? Okay, the... It's a little weird. Okay, I'm actually see them right here. 
So I'm like the left corridor. Oh, okay. Well, I probably could have aggroed them the chapel at this point. <laughs> Huh. I guess we'll go back to the chapel. <laughs> Boo! Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the chapel. That hunt's over. Oh yeah, this hiding spot's also um, okay. This one right here. You like go up. Oh, maybe you can't anymore. Did they patch it? Well, they, they might have patched it or um, boosted. I used to be able to like go up on these beds and then go behind there, but they, I, I can't do it. Normally I'm I get up there pretty easily. So they might have patched that too. Okay, be over here. Let me gander upon you. I don't know why he sounds like slightly slower to me. I think it's just maybe after that Thay and Mori Hantu game, or no, the Hantu Mori games. Don't immediately think like yokai if you're, you're radio statics and you don't aggro them. Because the detection or the disruption range on Sunny Meadows is a little bit higher. Ghost? There we go, maybe? Ghosty? Or it could be yokai. But we might have been just outside like the detection range, but still our walkie talkie getting disrupted. Okay. So what I might do is maybe stand like here with my walkie talkie on. See if I can't aggro them over. Again, I wouldn't be this aggro on Gold Trophy, but here we are. Yeah, it looks like there goes from somewhere over there. Flashbang warning. Okay, you wanna speak to me? Thank you. Here we go. Ghosty. I don't want to like let him see me because I do kind of want to test for yokai. I might let him see me just to get him over here. Of course, when I actually step out, he goes into the courtyard. Okay, he should have seen me. Ghosty. Ghost, 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 ghost. Ghosty? Ghost, 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 ghost. Okay, I know Yokai. Huh. Not noticing anything exciting either. Could be a smudge timer thing though. Oh, don't somehow see me. Okay, that hunt might be over. So I guess we'll sit and see what the smudge timer looks like. I like my crucifix back though. Is it not? Oh yeah, put it right here, okay. Oh, we'll just turn a light on, that's huge. No mare, okay. I was really just thinking about whether or not to mention you can actually like test for mare if you hear them turn a light on. And you can assume that all the lights are off because whenever a haunt ends, all the lights can turn off. So unless you went over near the ghost room for some reason, turn the light on. Any light that I switched that gets switched should be on. That you hear, I should say. You just can be a spirit? I'd be okay with that. Let me like check a light switch and see if they're hunting somehow. No?
You know, it's technically spirit smudge time. Now, other ghosts will sometimes wait three minutes to hunt after smudged for... Oh. Oh. For no reason other than to be annoying. Dude, the one ghost actually like comes back to where he last saw me. Don't do it. What I don't need him to. You know, I read the ghost, I was like, please come back. And they, they just forgot I was here. Yeah, it might not be spirit, but we're gonna go spirit because I don't feel like waiting another three minutes. Maybe the hunt might be over. I think so. Okay, hunt is over. Let us get out of here. Okay, we got spirit locked. Please don't be, you know, like a, a weird Gary that just waited three minutes. It's definitely possible. <laughs> you absolutely just want me a chin. I mean, honestly, we dodged a bullet because we would have never got that. We would have had to like test to see if it changed rooms to cross off Oreo. <laughs> Why did you have to wait three minutes though? Why couldn't you have just gone under 90? So, okay, it's, you know, it's fine. Dodged a bullet, okay. What? I told you. I told you whatever we needed, one more level, one more game, it was going to be an annoying, <coughs> annoying ghost. Okay. Um, photo, yeah, I don't know why I keep looking at these because I typically don't do them, but... They are, these would be... Yeah, these would be good objectives for a gold trophy. Okay, we are in. Oh, okay. Instantly hunting. I haven't even got my filter on yet. Okay. Everyone's want to turn off the prayer block mic just in case, like, they're somehow behind me and I didn't hear them. Yeah, I don't think they're anywhere nearby. Okay, so after this hunt, we will go into the left wing and listen for him. Okay, we're in the left wing. And now we wait. This ghost is taking forever to hunt again. Surely it's not a shade more. Oh, here we go. I spoke too soon. Oh, another fast one. Let's go. Downstairs, though. Would you care to come upstairs? Let me gander. Oh, they might be coming upstairs. Just a downstairs warrior, huh? Okay. I would say Hantu or Maroi here. Oh, are you coming up? Here we go. So, like, these bookcases are nice in normal situations because you can block LOS, but right now I need to get the aggro. Okay, the hunt's over. Um, we can try to go downstairs into one of those hiding spots and do this. I don't know if I'll get down there in time for the next hunt, but we can try. Okay, they're already hunting again, so I'm just gonna chill by the underneath the stairs. Can I hear you from here? No, okay, interesting. Okay, that hunt is over. I'm just gonna go into this first room that I showed you all earlier. hide for a second until I know where the ghost room is. I kind of hope it's like near the end of the hallway. Sounds like it. Okay. Then if it's not right here, we'll go and stand out in the hallway. So we're looking for LOS speed and or breath. No, it's still like a little bit dark, so I'm sorry. Can I stand over here and you see me? I think so, maybe. 
That was my own breath right there. No? Oh. Well, it sounds like they got a little bit faster, like they saw me for a second, then. Oh yeah, they definitely see me now. I think Roy here. Oh my god, it's a little demon child. Okay, some, don't somehow come in here and kill me, please. Like I said, this spot isn't very safe. We'll fly. Flashbang warning. Yeah, she definitely got faster, okay. Oh, she's still going. <laughs> I'm just gonna take the light switch. Okay, she's done. All right. We'll let out with Maroi. Okay, we got Maroi locked. Let's see. Da -da. And there is. Oh. <laughs> Promotion's now available. There is level 100 with. Gold trophy. We have done it. It feels so weird to like quote unquote be completing this series. It has been a journey, you know, through the, the amateur grind up to up till now. It's been fun. It's kind of been fun to sort of relive the grinding of equipment again because on my main account, I like prestige 20. I don't have to unlock equipment anymore. So it's been fun. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the series. That's gonna be it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you all are trying for your own gold trophies, best of luck. You got this. Just enough restarts, enough practice, you will get it. Uh, but if you find yourself enjoying the video, make sure to drop it a like. If you're new here, drop the channel a sub. Good luck, go something, and I will see you in the next one.